Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. Once we get into the month of August, there's two things hockey players start thinking about. The first is that school will be starting soon. Yes! Or maybe you're a no. No, I'm not excited. And the second is that the start of the winter hockey season is right around the corner. There's a lot of you out there that are chomping at the bit for the puck to drop because you've been working your tail off the last few months and have seen significant gains and have set yourself up for a solid season. Then there are those of you who have had a great summer of fun, sleeping in every morning, hanging out with buddies at the lake, and playing video games for hours a day. But you just realize something that is as real as it gets that you've neglected your hockey training most of the summer and tryouts will be here before you know it. Holy crap, what do you do? Sounds like you got a procrastination problem. Dictionary.com defines procrastination as the act or habit of procrastinating or putting off or delaying, especially something requiring immediate attention. You're not alone if this is you. The good thing is this has been a challenge for hockey players for decades and there have been scientifically proven techniques that can assist players who struggle with this affliction. One of the most successful procrastination killers is known as the Pomodoro Technique. Can you repeat that for me please? One of the most successful procrastination killers is called the Pomodoro Technique. What in the heck is that? The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method developed by Francisco Cilio in the late 1980s. I don't know if I pronounced that right as my Italian is not very good. The technique uses a timer to break down work into timed intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks. Each interval is known as a pomodoro from the Italian word for tomato after the tomato-shaped kitchen timer that Cilio used as a university student. Yes, before the invention of the smartphone or apps, when someone wanted to time something, they used one of these. I remember my grandma had one, and when we heard the bell ding, we knew freshly baked cookies would soon be in our hands. So how does this work? In the simplest terms, you basically have something you want to accomplish for the day. You determine how much time you will need to complete the task, and then break it down into a few short timed intervals called pomodoras. I love saying that word. The traditional pomodoro is 25 minutes in length, followed by a short break of three to five minutes. After four pomodoros, take a longer break. Each pomodoro and break are synced with a timer. The coolest thing about this technique is that it's totally customizable. So let's say you've been wanting to add some off by stick handling and shooting to your weekly routine down in your basement, but have been putting it off all summer. Then give this technique a try. Start small so you leave after day one feeling you accomplished something, but it wasn't too overwhelming. Anyone can spend 30 minutes shooting pucks and maybe working on a puck trick or two, so we're going with that time length. Break the 30 minutes down into three blocks of 10 minutes. For each 10 minute block, you'll work for eight minutes ripping shots and doing some stick handling drills, and then we'll be rewarded with a two minute break. The most important part of this method is to use a timer so you stick to task. You don't have to use one of these old school timers because most, if not all of you, have a smartphone or device or have access to one which has a built-in timer. Start the timer for eight minutes. Walk away and go put the work in until the alarm sounds. Set it for two minutes, get off your feet, have a drink of water until the alarm sounds again. Set it for eight minutes and repeat. One of the biggest contributors to procrastination are distractions. The whole point of the Pomodoro Technique is that when you're working, it's focused, deliberate, and uninterrupted. So put your device on Do Not Disturb, put some of your favorite jams on, and get lost for a while and have some fun. You'll be surprised at how quickly the time goes when using this productivity strategy. If you master the 30 minute mark, then increase the time frame to 40 or 50 minutes. Now before I let you go, if after a week or two you're struggling to come up with new drills to practice and are starting to get bored, don't you worry because Coach has you covered. Just head on over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com and check out the world's largest database of off-ice stick handling and shooting drills and see what you've been missing. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.